Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this uh, scarf with pocket or pocket shawl. I used this yarns. I love this yarn, uh, Super Savings. I think it's Citrus Punch. And yarn be soft and sleek, pumpkin spice. I use both of them together. Both yarns is category four yarns. And this ball is 142 grams, five oz, um, 213 meters. This ball, 114 grams, 180 meters. I use more than three balls, uh, three and a half balls, I think, and more than two balls. And I totally use 645 grams because I know it. I write it. Okay. Uh, and that's not too long. Uh, it's just like uh, a vest size. If you want to make it longer, just follow the same direction. Just make uh, this um, ribbing long as you like. Then um, make everything same, of course, with the different numbers. And I use six and five point five millimeter hooks. I could give you the measurements actually. I fold it and when we measure it with this way it's a little more than 30 inch long 76 centimeters is 150 centimeters almost and here 16 inch, 41 centimeters. Uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. Start with a slip knot and chain 13. Turn your chains and starting from this second stitch here, make single crochets. I'm using this back bumps because it looks beautiful with this way. You will make 12 single crochets. That's the last one. Chain one and turn. And into these back loops, make single crochets. Just insert into the back loop, make a single crochet. Make 12 back loop only single crochets. Almost at the end, make the last one, chain one, turn, and again, make 12 back loop only single crochets, and we will keep repeating. Uh, I will make 135 
e, rose with this way. If you want, you can make it smaller, longer. Just be uh, sure about your row numbers uh, must be an odd number. Okay, you can adjust it. It's not a hard work. We will use a one row repeat stitch and we will just make a rectangle so you can adjust it easily. Uh, but it's be better for you if it's uh, it could be an odd number so i made 135 rows here and uh, how could you understand it's an odd number that's my finishing point and starting point okay both of them looking same direction and um, that's the right side of my work but it's not important uh, both sides same now I will grab the other yarn and it will be easy if you start from here that's my uh, chains and starting point book okay I will change the hook I will use six millimeter hook you can use an upper size hook it could be better my tail here and I will start from here okay skip this one two this two stitch uh, rows sorry insert into the next row grab the yarn pull through make a chain in the same place insert and make a single crochet now we will use trinity stitch and for this uh, we will collect loops three loops but uh, we will collect them from these rows the side single crochets you can see that's a row and is a second one you can insert here then here, then here, then here. You can use these loops, okay? First insert in the same place and pull up a loop. Insert into the next row, pull up a loop. Insert into the next row, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. And make a chain. Insert this same place, pull up a loop, into the next row, pull up a loop, into the next row, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through, make a chain. Same place, next row, next row pull through close with a chain and we will just repeat this leave the last two rows and keep making this see at that now i made the last one and there is two rows here one two as you can see now I will not make a chain here, directly insert into the same stitch, make a single crochet, chain one, turn, into this first space, Make a single crochet. We will always start with a single crochet and finish with a single crochet. Insert same place, pull up a loop, insert into this next stitch, pull up a loop, and insert into this next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through, then make a chain. 
Insert same place, pull up a loop. Next place, pull up a loop. And uh, next. This one is the chain we made. We are inserting here and here. Make a chain. Pull up a loop. Pull up a loop. And one more. Make a chain. One, two, three. Make a chain. Just repeat this. See you at the end. I'm at the end. I will make the last one right now. Insert here, grab the yarn. Insert, grab the yarn. And don't make any chain. Insert and make a single crochet. Chain one, turn. Repeat same thing. Make a single crochet into first stitch. Pull up a loop, starting from the same stitch, pull up a loop, and pull up a loop. Pull through, chain one. One, two, three. If you are pulling up this last stitch from this chain loop here, chain stitch, that means you are going perfect, okay? Close it, make a chain and keep repeating. I'll make it a little bigger. When I turn back, I will give you the measurement. See you there. Now I made this part bigger. I could give you the measurements. It's 35 centimeters, 13 and a half inch. That's enough because we will keep uh, adding some rows here but first uh, we will make this side uh, you see when you hold it this way this ribbing part is on the top and this that's the left uh, side for this one we will start from here Insert into this last stitch and join your yarn. By the way, I changed my hook again. It's 5.5 millimeter hook. Make a chain. And starting from this next space, I will make single crochets just like we did here. We will put one single crochet for one row. And keep going, see you at the end of the row. Now I have 36 stitches right now. It depends your row counts, of course. It will it could change. Chain one, turn, and use the back loops. Make back loop only single crochets. See you at the end again. I reach to the end and I will join with a slip stitch from this first chain. Cut the yarn and hide it.
upper the right side we will start with the same place again uh, but um, this time we're on the back side of our work that's the wrong side as you can see join and follow the same directions complete this part see you at the end and uh, I complete two sides now I'm on the right side of my work and I'm gonna join from this first uh, row <laughs> or stitch now I will make um, half double slip stitch yarn over insert here grab the yarn and pull through uh, these two loops around this next row yarn over insert here grab the yarn pull through that's my next stitch pull through next stitch pull through Insert all the stitches and repeat the same thing. See you at the end. I'm at the end. I'm making last two. Chain one. Turn. And I will use back loops here. You see, that's the first loop. Front loop, back loop insert into this back loop and make um, half double slip stitch and we will just repeat this we will make half double slip stitch back loop only half double slip stitch for a few rows I'm not sure how many rows I will make it and when I turn back um, I could give you the row numbers and measurements and don't miss this last stitch okay just uh, see you in a second I complete this part too I totally made 14 rows it's eight centimeters um, more than three inch long and I made pockets too for the pockets I started with 11 chains and have um, 10 single crochet I will work back loop only like we did here I made 25 rows here then turn my work cut the yarn of course turn my work and starting from here I made Trinity stitch again I think I made 18 rows uh, but it could change uh, you can make it bigger as you like it's 6 cm uh, sorry 6 inch 15 cm 18 cm a little more than 7 inch 7 and a half inch now I will join this just find the right place first and I'm gonna use this one attach this one if you want you can use some pins first uh, then sew it
and that's all i hope you like this tutorial if you like please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel series crochet is my instagram address you can reach me there and it's also my pinterest website and hc addresses too you can find me anywhere you want that's it for today hope to see you again have a nice day bye